Good morning all. It is like 4.30 in the morning, something like that. Um, and we are going to Comic-Con today. We're going to be taking the train out and then um, we're going to go and just like, I think, bus or Uber or walk or something. Uh, and then we are going to be there. It's going to be exciting. I'm usually never this awake for Comic-Con um, or any kind of travel. What ends up happening is I get really excited about traveling and then I uh, stay up all night and think about how fun it's going to be when I get there. I'm actually very fortunate because I actually slept about like seven-ish hours. So um, we're going to go and I'm going to see you on the train. <laughs> I like how you're being perfectly still, but I'm on video, like I'm taking a video. The trains are gonna move! You're taking a video? Yeah. She's... Oh my god, it's moving! See, we're going backwards. What? Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. oh yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. I think we go the whole way backwards. Yeah. Are you filming or are you taking pictures? I'm filming. <laughs> So the interesting thing about today is that we all have like little objectives that we're going to be trying to get done while we're there. Elena. Hi. What's your objective? Um, to meet Jody Benson because I'm Ariel from The Little Mermaid and to meet Mr. Fucking Feeny. <laughs> Dad, what's your objective? To get G.I. Joe swag. And who are you meeting? Get autographs. Frank and I uh, can't remember the other guy's name. That's fine. And I'm going to be trying to get Steve Blum to sign a copy of Dirge of Cerberus. Hopefully he will. He's there for Cowboy Bebop officially, but we're going to see. Dad and I are actually sharing an objective. We have to go and get something for my mom. Oh, Iron Man swag. <laughs> Thank you. 
got our lanyard, it's on. just got Steve Lim to sign my copy of Dirge of Cerberus, which is officially my most prized possession that there is. I'm so excited. He wasn't able to confirm the Final Fantasy VII remake, whether or not he was asked about that. He said that um, they haven't called him about it yet, but he has stated his availability, so that's so exciting for me. Um, so we're going to go and eat something, because we are all hungry. Are we hungry? Yes. Starving. She's starving. We gotta go. <laughs> Resident Evil box licensed by Capcom. Um, I don't know what's inside it. The woman at the stall wouldn't say, um, but it's a pretty nice box. So we're gonna see what's actually in it. Okay, so we're unboxing it now. We have ooh, a pillow, or Resident Evil throw pillow. For the Umbrella Corporation. What appears to be a lanyard. So that'll be for work. Got a belt. Belt. I don't know what this is. Is it like a flask? Is it like a cigarette case? It's a cigarette case. I don't smoke. We do now. <laughs> right. Um, it's a wallet that labels me as a Raccoon City police detective. Stylish. Oh, car socks. Oh, hell yeah. And then two pins. Three pins. No. No, one keychain and one pin. An Umbrella Corporation keychain. Zoom in on that. And something that lists me as an Echo 6 Spec Ops, and that's a pin. I don't know what that is because I'm not that good of a Resident Evil fan. Elena, what'd you get? Okay, 
So this is my awful picture with Mr. Feeney, even though I love him very, very much. This interaction was like three seconds long, but he's a beautiful old man and I'm in, I'm in love with him. I love him. He's Aww. beautiful. Right. And then this is from an artist for water painting, watercolor Aww. painting. It's beautiful. Very pretty. And then they have this one that I bought as well. Oh. And then I got some fudge because I wanted to bring Cody home something because I'm a nice girlfriend. Aww. So they have a smoky whiskey fudge and then they have a strawberry cheesecake one. Okay, so we've been out of the convention for about an hour. We're all dehydrated, we're all tired, we want to go home. <laughs> we've still got a few hours to kick around in Boston. So we've officially been up for over 12 hours now. Elena says we've been up for 12 hours, and I believe it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go around and share whether we were successful with our missions. Yeah, it was all right. I'm very Did tired. I didn't meet Jody Benson because the line was too long. Mm -hmm. So that's a bummer. But I did get to meet Ben Savage and William Daniels, so that was a bonus. And then I got a bunch of cool artwork. Good stuff. And everyone was really nice. Everyone oh, was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. All right. Done? Yes. What am I answering? Did you accomplish your missions for today? Yeah, for the most part. What yeah. were your missions? Remind the audience. Oh, you know, I'm here to collect uh, G.I. Joe swag. The only thing I think that I was most disappointed in, honestly, is the... Um, the increase in the prices. Hmm. So like last year you could pick up a couple of things for like 10 bucks. This year they were like 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, the books you could usually get for about a dollar a piece in the old bargain bin. Uh -huh. Now, let me just show you, now they're $5 a piece. Yeah, we'll do the... Uh, $5 a piece, $5 five? on all of them. So, $5, $5, oh, I have to get up here. So long and the short of it is that I did accomplish what I wanted to. I feel like I got as much as I could without being stupid. And um, yeah, except for the price increase, I think it's a good day. As Alina said, it's very, uh, it's very tiring. Long day. Yeah, long day. What about you? I was very successful in my mission. I got Steve Bloom to sign my game. And um, Dad and I both succeeded on our other mission, which was to get Mom a shirt. Um, well, something Iron Man, which ended up being a shirt. And now it's time for the pile of swag. So here's a grand shot of the loot. Elena's got a couple of lovely paintings, which we've already seen. The G.I. Joes, which my dad got. The Guinness cup glass. The Guinness pint glass for Elena's dad. Boyfriend. Right, that's for her boyfriend. Dad got so much G.I. Joe swag. So much of it. Yeah. Okay, well, there's all this. All that. Wait, wait, are we done with this or should I just put it back? Yeah, I saw it. And there's that, which I needed. Which is this, which I needed. Which I needed. Um, uh, got some items to complete his collection. Yes, I got it. Autograph. And then the autographed copy of the G.I. Joe movie. Yeah. This is complete and sealed, which is, you know, which is good. A complete sealed twin battle gun whirlwind yeah, 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 with yeah, rotated, yeah, yeah. with twin mounted rotating guns you can move. We also have the items from the Resident Evil unboxing, which is earlier in this video. Got some Dungeons and Dragons dice, which should be very cool to play with once I'm playing D&D again. I got a lead um, on the Soul Reaver comics that I've been dying to get my hands on, and probably the Crown Jewel achievement Probably the crown jewel achievement of today. I got Steve Blum to sign my copy of Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. It's been an excellent day. I'm going to go and like pass out in a corner now. I'll see everyone later. Bye.